And then we did the exercise. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, that was. We woke up. Yeah. <laughs> and we were in the same bed. Yeah, it was. It was comfortable. Yeah. This is good. Really good. By taking some time to yourselves, you were able to relate better as a couple. And you both did it without even trying. But, you know, it was nice, wasn't it? To, uh, to do something on your own, you know. I'm thrilled with the progress that you've made, and I think it's going to make it that much easier to proceed to the next step. Next step. That's great. Let's get with it. <laughs> I mean, we're doing so well, we might be able to get out of here early. <laughs> oh, okay, what? next step. What is it? Write a poem, hold hands in public, sing a serenade. <laughs> Sex. We should just get our things and go. Hi, I'm Dave Bjorkren, managing editor of the News of Delaware County, and welcome to a special summer edition of Take Two. And I'm Art Ryan, special correspondent to the news. And that was a scene from Hope Springs, which opened last weekend in theaters nationwide. And it stars uh, Meryl Streep and Tommy Lee Jones as a married couple of 31 years who seek the help of a professional counselor to help revive and bring some spark back into the relationship. And Dave, I really thought that uh, this was a movie that was dependent on its stars, and I thought they pulled it off. Yeah, actually, uh, I, I don't know if this would have worked quite as well with any other actors, but I thought Meryl Streep, Tommy Lee Jones gave an outstanding performance, um, terrific character portrayals. Yeah, and this um, was really a different role for Tommy Lee Jones. I mean, I'm, I mean, he has a sort of a curmudgeon -y, uh feel to his character. I'm sure that came very easy, but there's also a depth to it. Uh, yeah. He was really struggling, um, you know, with his character to find out, you know, what was the big problem in their relationship, and I thought it worked. Right, right. I mean, this is, at its core, this is a very sweet film, a very sweet couple mm -hmm. who really seem to love each other, but they've kind of lost their way. Um, the, the spice is going out of their marriage, everything that they do is routine. Um, and, you know, Meryl Streep's character, she's just, she's very lonely in the relationship and is doing whatever it takes sure. to get them back yeah. on track. And Tommy Lee Jones' character is fighting it at first, uh, but then, he, you know, eventually comes along without, you know, giving too much away. I think my only fault to the film was uh, really two things. Uh, one was that, without giving too much away, uh, Tommy Lee Jones' character at the end, um, I think there could have been a little bit more explanation in... Uh, why he comes to, you know, uh, the decision he does, or, or not so much the decision, but the way he behaves at the end of the film. Could have been explained a little better, I thought. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, the movie sets itself up to appear as if he may be the main cause of the problem right, right, in the marriage. Right, right. But it's never adequately explained why right, right. He's, he's having a problem. There's, an, there's some sort of hint that maybe he finds her unattractive right, right, as right, they right. get older. Right. Um, but it's just sort of dropped. It's never picked up and explained. Uh, right, right. You know, yeah. After that, the only other issue I had with it was uh, that, that this was a choice by the directors uh, to use a lot of pop music throughout the soundtrack, which is fine. Nothing wrong with the songs, but one or two times I thought it was uh, inappropriate. Uh, one scene in particular in the beginning, when Meryl Streep's character of Kay sort of storms out of a counseling session because she's upset with, uh, you know, how her. Uh, husband Arnold, played by Tommy Lee Jones, is, is not really cooperating. Uh, it's a very dramatic scene, and it's just almost blown by this pop song that just sort of comes out of nowhere and sort of takes away from what, what we're watching on screen. It's almost as if they didn't trust the two actors who obviously, you know, can carry the film on their sure, own. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, and that we don't need any props or anything like that. Um, also, have to give uh, a lot of credit, I think, to Steve Carell. Yeah, very good performance. Um, yeah. And another um, underplayed performance. Him. Right, right. He seems to be on this this kick lately yeah. of doing understated right. uh, roles, but they really work. Yep, they do. Um, it's really wonderful. And uh, yeah, I just think it's a great summer romantic comedy slash drama. There's a lot of drama to this as well, but it's it's definitely a romantic comedy. Great for couples. Uh, harmless. I mean, it's it's really. Yeah, one thing I did like about it. This did not go into the stereotypic. Okay, it's a marriage in trouble, so there's going to be an extramarital affair. Right, right, right. There's going to be bitter fighting. Right, right. You don't really get at any of that. Even at, at their worst, this couple is really endearing. Yeah, I mean, it's, and again, and it goes back to the performers themselves. Yeah, uh, yeah. It was hard to imagine this film with anyone else, and and really, you know. Um, 
falling for this couple, the audience, the, the way the audience falls for this couple, the way they do. Yeah, yeah. I also have to say that a lot of the movie, what makes it work for me, the comedy and what you care about, comes from the reaction sure. from the couple. It's almost like they're an ordinary couple who's thrown into these yeah. extraordinary circumstances because this therapist keeps giving them sexuality ex exercises to do, and they're obviously very uncomfortable with the whole thing, but they do it, you know, to try and save the marriage. And just watching their reactions is, is just wonderful. But I also thought that for the audience, you never felt uncomfortable with the subject matter, where it could be almost like you were eavesdropping on some, someone's, you know, personal life. You never felt icky by it, even though they were talking about, you know, very personal issues. And again, I think that goes to the performers and maybe more endearing. Yeah, yeah, although I have, I've read a couple of reviews where they do say they felt a little uncomfortable. Really? Um, I could also say that there'll be probably a lot of couples who will probably be relating sure. to this couple and the problems they're going through, so they might feel a little... Okay. But it's such a fun, yeah. it's a, it's a light-hearted -heart you know, take on the whole yeah. thing. That, uh, and it works. It's very intelligent. Never sinks into, you know, toilet humor or anything. Right, like that. right, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so, so they recommend it. Definitely worth seeing. Yeah. So be sure to check us out online at uh, DelcoNewsNetwork.com. All right, and we will see you later. Hi, I'm Dave Bjorkren, Managing Editor of the News of Delaware County. And Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was going to throw in the special edition. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dave Bjorkren, Managing Editor of the News of Delaware County, and welcome to a special edition, a special summer edition, an edition in which it takes place in summer because it's August. 